Hello everyone and congratulations on your selection to the final round of Hackathon. So I know that you all are excited, even we are excited as a team of rpatools.com and uh, we are really looking forward to what you guys are going to present in the final rounds and we are you know really really happy to see all of you here. Now why we are, we are creating this video and why I'm recording this video is really important because by now all of you must be working hard towards your solution working hard towards completing your solution and solutionizing and packaging it right to present it very well but still i want to give a couple of input points and you know so that which can help you a lot now the first things first how to start thinking and how to complete your end-to-end -end solution so by now you might have already fixed your ideas what you have to build but if you have not then today we have shared 10 to 15 uh, use cases in the RPA hackathon group from those use cases you can pick any use case if you want right if you have not started yet otherwise if you have already started now start thinking from a perspective how you are going to present it how you are going to complete your solution because see completion is really important in the hackathon right so how you are going to complete it now this in this hackathon we are not going to look at you know how uh, well or uh, you know uh, out of the box technology you have used to create something amazing now Obviously, we are going to look at that, but at the same time, what we expect from you is a proper complete delivery, a proper complete delivery. When I say that means that completing your solution, which is running end to end, submitting your solutions along with all the workflow files, creating appropriate documents for your solution, creating a presentation, which explains about your complete end to end solution and then presenting it in front of the judges how you manage all these points and how you go through all these se sections is really important and based on that you will be judged right so don't be stressed be very calm don't stress out yourself first of all and always think from a perspective of what use case you're currently working on right how are you going to complete it how are you going to present it now let's let me give you one example of a small simple use case okay like what kind of use case you can think about now in the examples which I have shared, I have mentioned one use case, which is a hotel booking robot. Now what this hotel booking robot does, it will take input from user that what is the destination city that you're going to, right? Or destination city or country wherever you're going. In that city, what is the date of check-in that you're going to do in that particular hotel, in any hotel? And what is the date of checkout? And then based on these three informations, and again, what is the number of people that are traveling with you? Based on this four information, you are going to go to all the websites such as, uh, you know, make my trip hotels.com. Then you're going to go to TripAdvisor or any website that you have. You go to all these websites. Now, based on the search criteria, you will fetch the results that what are, what are all the hotels that are available nearest to the location, nearest to the landmark, right? And then you will extract all the details. You will scrape those details using data scraping, capture those details, and then put all these details into one structured format or in one Excel file, or, or you can send that email to the end user who is looking for that particular information. Now, what happened here? Huge amount of time is saved for a person who is looking for hotels in specific area uh, for specific dates, because you, your robot did all the work. It packaged it completely and it delivered it to the end user. Now this solution is a very simple solution which includes only input parameters such as uh, input from the user and then in the middleware all you have to do is just scrape the data from multiple websites and just collect it together in a very structured manner and send it to the end user again. So all this what I just said is one example of how you can think from a robotic process automation perspective which can save time of a normal person right that is again a use case of a hackathon so just don't stress out and just keep calm and keep working on such use cases the next thing is uh, if you need any help obviously we are here on whatsapp group you can reach out to us on whatsapp any single time all the uh, you know mentors which are available on the whatsapp group as i have as vivek has already shared you can reach out to them personally or you can reach out to them you know uh, in your dm request or you can reach out to them in the whatsapp group as well and they are always ready to help for that so don't worry about that don't stress out and just uh help is always available for them for the for the purpose okay again the most important thing is if you have any question it could be any silly question because this is first time that you're learning rpa right so any silly question don't hesitate to pose the question if it is a question related to your hackathon project then personally directly ping all the mentors or any of the mentor that you want 
and then that mentor will give you appropriate answer but don't hesitate to hold your questions because right now is not the time to hold the questions so shoot the questions whatever you have and you will get all the answers okay most important thing the the most important thing that i want to share with each and every one of you is every one of you who has made it to the final round is a winner so kudos to each and every one of you congratulations again to make it to the final i am looking forward especially to meet each and every one of you in the final judging round and looking forward to look at your beautiful and amazing solutions that you are going to submit okay most and again important thing is about the internship so around the end uh, whoever will be the winners will definitely get a chance to get the internship and you know work with us uh, directly and uh, this internship is going to be a paid internship so it's not going to be a free internship obviously it's a paid internship and uh, we will always we will train you even more amazingly and we will even carve your you know best out of <clears throat> what you are currently and uh, will make you rp professional just like us so don't worry about that and again most important thing uh, that people I, i have seen a lot of questions about gifts you know so we have taken notes of each and every person who has posted on linkedin who has followed all our you know small small quizzes and um, games and thank you so much for participating in that first of all and we have a note of each and every person obviously but the gifts will be dispatched post hackathon so once the hackathon is complete after that all the gifts whoever the competition whatever the competition would be all the gifts would be dispatched post the hackathon so stay tuned until the hackathon is complete and then you can expect the gifts and don't worry we have made notes of each and every single person that has <clears throat> you know posted on linkedin and that has participated in the competitions so again i would like to thank each and every one of you for being a part of rp tools hackathon power to you each and every one looking forward to see you all in the hackathon finals and uh, bye bye